Slide on the pimp gang with my pinky ring. Lot of gang, lot of bitch in the icy chain. Why you claim that you rich? That's a false claim. I'll be straight to the whip, no baggage claim. Whole lot of styles came. Hey you, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the cloud challenge. I'm not one to be into like the trends really. I thought I really like this one and I got, had a bunch of you guys request it and I really like this one because you know like your head's in the clouds and I'm I'm one of those people. My head's always in the clouds. I thought it'd be super fun. I haven't filmed a YouTube video since I think the music one that I did in the car. Um, so I'm like, you know what? It's, it's time and I should be doing more of these. I am going to do a voiceover because I'm trying to watch this video. Um, I just found it on Netflix. It's like a romance kind of video. It's Monday night. I'm hanging out, just chilling, snacking. I really wish I had popcorn, but I don't think you guys want to be seeing me smack my lips while I'm trying to do my makeup. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, if you guys want to see how I get some clouds on my eyelids, then just keep watching. All right, we're just going to start off here by eating some chips and some more chips. <laughs> and then I've got the Instant Rebound Moisturizer by Shea Moisturizer. This stuff has been amazing for my skin. It really, I really feel like it's helped my acne a lot. Um, so I need to find it again because I've had a hard time finding it. But just basically moisturize my skin really well. And then I've got the Super Stay in the 128. Um, I really like this because I feel like it's in between. It helps my um, like my oily skin, but it also leaves me looking flawless. So as long as I set it really good, it is amazing. And I don't have to worry about it too much for the rest of the day. Yeah, then I'm just setting it with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, per usual that I love to use all the time. And start off, I started off with the NYX um, white base primer, eats more chips. <laughs> and I started to carve out the shape of my clouds. And then I realized that it didn't work and it was too like greasy. So I went to my favorite, the Tarte Shape Tape Moist, or start. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I was really into the movie that I was watching. I can't remember what exactly I was watching, but I just start to carve out that cloud shape like so. And this kind of starts to dry, so I think that's why I like it better. It wasn't as like oily as the NYX, so definitely get you like a good concealer to use or something. This is what I use for my eyes every single time I prime my eyes. kind of take a step back look at it eat some chips I'm such a snackaholic now I'm putting down just a white eyeshadow any white eyeshadow you have um, is gonna work perfect for this and I I did this really weird here okay I realized that I messed up at this point I'm like okay I completely set my eyes wrong but I just did the best that I could to go around it and make it work I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I was thinking <laughs> to not do this at the beginning. I think I was just so into the movie I was watching. So now I'm like trying to get that around there. So this was this was a complicated way to do it. Don't do it this way. <laughs> I'm just setting it. And then I start to pick up the red that I'm going to use on this eye. And just do it like I do any other normal eyeshadow. That's the CoverGirl palette. I think it's the Sunset one. Yeah, that's what it is, the Sunset one. And just blend that and blend that baby out like normal. <laughs> um, this was really weird for me to do a voiceover because I haven't done that in a long time. Let me know, though. Do you like the voiceover or would you rather me talk and write then and there? But I just kind of lined out the clouds there, kind of blending that a little bit better, a little highlight. Let's do the other side. Here we go. This time, I knew what I was doing. This is what I should have done on the other side. So this is the way you want to do it. Just set your whole eye completely. This, this turned out better. And then I always set mine. Some people don't, but I, I feel like it's still pigmented with or without. Um, sugar pill. 
and these are amazing in the color Moochie. Um, this is actually my first time using it. I have not used it. I have three colors that I've opened or that I bought and I never opened. I was like, all right, girl, time to use them. I just use a lighter color first and then I decided to go in with this um, Co Koki? Coco? Kiko. Oh my god, I'm so wrong. And it was from, they're from a different country. Um, I got it in the mall a very long time ago and I never really used it, but they said it was kind of like a magnetized one. I'm just like, oh shit, that was a lot. <laughs> and you want to be careful with blue, especially like this color. And this had a lot of fallout too. Um, but I definitely made it work, just completely blended it out a little bit like a little bit a little by little. And then I start to carve out the cloud. And this all made much more sense the second round. So you'll have to tell me which eye you thought turned out better looking. Um, I definitely think that the blue did. I was so into that movie. I'm going to have to remember. I'm, I'll put the movie down below that I was watching. If I can remember it. It was like, it was just like a fairy tale short, kind of short movie, but it was good. I'm trying to blend them out as even as possible here. And then I, I went around with the color, kind of like I did with the red eye too. Um, and just kind of made it darker really close to the cloud it kind of gave it a little bit of depth hmm. okay and then I picked up the um, Urban Decay white eyeliner this is my favorite one I tried the one by NYX but this one takes the cake I feel like it lasts all day and um, it's really pigmented and I do go over them just a couple to make, you know, make the white stand out a little bit more. And I just kind of started to do whatever here at this point. I'm like, all right, let's just throw some stars on and play around with it. That's usually how my makeup ends up. I just start to add. I start to play with it and then add and add. And then I started to dig into my makeup and I was like, you know what? Let's use some glitter. So I've got the NYX Glitter Primer. And this is my favorite one. And I've got these little glitters that I got from Candy. Candy O Love. And it's the metal glittery. Glitter, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. And I so I'd put down a little bit of glue. And I'd pick up the glitters. And I start sticking them. I have like little moons and stuff like that. I'm going to do some highlight with the Artist Couture per usual in the color Gold Digger. And you know that's my all-time favorite. And I think I'm taking a lot here. I'm just like... I just stuck it in the inner corners. Do some brows, throw those babies on. You guys have seen me do that plenty of times. Um, per usual, 126. I should have grabbed some big fun lashes. And I've got the Revolution Highlighter Strobe. Sprayed a little bit. And yes, we want to be shiny. 515 Warm Nude in the color, or in Koki. This is one of my favorite lip liners. I have another one from NYX, but this one is definitely my go-to. And then I didn't do any liner. I just stuck my lashes on. And I thought that that was good enough for sure without the liner. I feel like if I did liner, it might have kind of taken away from the look there. So just carefully prop those on. And then I'm going to just finish up my lips with the Sienna 55 in the brand Koki. And then I'm taking this NYX um, Duo Chrome. And I think I put that on my lips. What did I use that for? Yeah. I and that completes the look. I love the way that it turned out. I'm actually like really surprised because I wasn't sure on how I would do but I'm actually really excited about it. I love the little um, sparkles. like the, It's like a little moon and stuff that I added um, to kind of make it more shiny. I love it. I'm very excited and I'm very pleased with the way that it turned out. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this and you had fun. Really focused on it. 
Um, I think that the blue clouds kind of turned out a little bit better than the red, but you know, I kind of learned after doing the red one, I was like, okay, I forgot to prime my eye first. I forgot to, you know, I forgot to some steps. So I think that's why I'm, I really like the way that the blue turned out. But what do you guys think? If you guys do recreate this look, please tag me or send me pictures or something. Um, and then again, leave comments down below on what else you guys want to see. Because I mean, I can do basic tutorials, but I do the lives. So I feel like that kind of gets repetitive. Kind of. I Would I wear this out? I don't know. I mean, I, I might wear it out. Like, hey, check out my clouds. You know? Just call me cloud nine just kidding that was lame <laughs> but I don't know I really like it I am so surprised with the way that it turned out I hope that you guys like it too I hope that you guys had fun and I will see you guys in my next video and thanks for joining me today because you joined me today you took and received my positive vibes my positive energy into your universe you're gonna have an amazing night day weekend week whenever you're watching this all right I will talk to you guys next time bye after putting this much makeup on, I don't want to wash it off, but I don't think I can sleep like this. I don't think I can go to work like this either. I don't want to wash it off. <laughs> and my bitch want the Fenty, not the Maybelline. <laughs> Pretty little thing. Like my A.E. Say, da 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 me. She can get a taste, taste, taste. she can get a taste, taste.